Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ritika. I'm a beauty content creator. I create content around makeup, skincare, curly hair. Go follow me on IG if you want everyday content. But on YouTube, I do long form like tutorials, vlogs, get ready with me videos. So if you are interested in that kind of yappy, chatty <laughs> videos, then please do subscribe and ring the bell. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about skincare. I have not spoken about skincare properly on my IG as well as on YouTube for a very long time. Um, but I thought today was the day you know the end of the year is coming about and I feel like everyone should stock up on their skincare and makeup at this stage I'm gonna be talking about all of the sunscreens that I have ever used and we're just gonna like break everything down we're gonna go through like a little bit of a criteria first things first I have oily skin that is dehydrated so I have to have something that's hydrating but at the same time not make me like super oily throughout the day it has to work well with makeup because I am a daily makeup wearer so i do need a sunscreen that's gonna sit well with my makeup and i need it to not like sweat and you know bunch up or pill um just that kind of basic stuff i don't necessarily look for other skincare ingredients in my sunscreen i just want my sunscreen to perform really well and not dry me out and not make me sweat uh so yeah that is the main thing and of course it should not give me any white cast if it does then i don't even use it i'm gonna leave all of the links in the description it is a legit link like i mentioned in my previous this video so please go check it out you can shop everything directly from Nykaa or Mintra or whatever like I'm gonna leave all the details in the description and link and mention every single product I am warning you it is a very long video I have a bit of a cold so my voice is a bit weird also I changed up my lighting a little bit I'm shooting an artificial light after a very long time I am kind of liking it I don't know if you guys like it or not let me know in the comments it's just that I can get more content done in artificial light so I thought I would just use the opportunity and try and film this Oof, these are all off oh my god I knew that was I I don't know what I was thinking I knew that was gonna happen but I still did it but these are all of the sunscreens that we're gonna talk about I have tried a lot over the past year because I got sent so much sunscreen that I just I had to I literally have notes of what I need to speak which is crazy I've never done this I don't keep notes the first one we're gonna talk about is the Lakme Sun Expert sunscreen this has Naya C complex it's an aqua gel sunscreen with SPF 50 and PA 4 pluses I'm not gonna say plus 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 because it's not plus 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 it's four pluses okay it's a very lightweight product that can be used for travel as well it has a very nice texture it has a slight fragrance but nothing too like intense even with the fragrance this does not irritate my skin especially with sunscreen i just react a lot if it has too much fragrance but this is fine it doesn't like do anything like that i love the texture it's very lightweight watery and it just sinks into the skin very easily it has no white cast it blends into the skin really well and it also works really well with makeup and it is affordable which is what i love about this you can find this even on blinkit zepto instamart so if you need like a sunscreen on a pinch this is definitely not a bad choice i actually worked with them on a video for this and i i loved it but there were some of you that messaged me and said it causes pilling i personally have not experienced pilling but i did try you know doing a bunch of experiments and i found that if you apply too much skincare on your skin like for example let's say you're doing your, like your moisturizer your serum and then you're going in with your sunscreen then this does spill so it doesn't layer well with other skincare ingredients and then when you apply makeup on top of it it's just too many layers and your skin is not able to absorb it so if you're going to use this you're just going to use this as a one and done product you cannot use it as a, a layering product with other products because it just it doesn't work well like that so maybe if you're experiencing pilling maybe you just use just this I personally because I have oily skin like I said I just use sunscreen in the morning I don't use any other product sometimes I'll add in a vitamin C I've been using the Vilva vitamin C serum or in the mornings um, but that's pretty much it I don't use any skincare in the morning other than sunscreen because I just get so oily and I use a lot of makeup so it's like too many layers and your skin won't actually absorb all of that and it doesn't make sense for me to wear too much skincare in the morning so I don't but if you are experiencing pilling with any sunscreen not just with this one just see if you are applying too many products in the morning and maybe that's what's causing the pilling but otherwise i think this is a great sunscreen i love that it comes in a pump as well it looks beautiful feels beautiful 
solid sunscreen next one is from Asaya. this is the under one sun matte sunscreen spf 40 pa plus 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 this is really really nice if you are going to use makeup and you want something that's gonna do the work of a primer and a sunscreen and a moisturizer so this is like a three-in-one situation so you can't use too much of this product again this will pill if you do too much three or four pumps or the two finger rule and that's about it you can only use that one application because it sort of sets into your skin and then becomes like a primer but it is beautiful it turns into a matte finish so if you suffer from extreme oiliness and you get really like your skin gets really sweaty and you're looking for something that will just you know stay on your face then this is great no white cast it has a very interesting texture i would not call this sweat proof necessarily but it still is like good for like sweaty weather it's not necessarily something that you would put if you're let's say going out for like activities this is a little bit more higher end i'm going to show you guys a dupe for this in later in this video okay next up is also from asaya but these are uh, samples that i received before the brand even launched so i'm going to put pictures of what the final product looks like but the brand very kindly sent me the samples and i have tried both of them one of these is called glow in one sunscreen spf 50 it's a little bit more affordable than the one that i just showed you the issue i have with this is that it becomes yellow i don't know if you can see here it becomes yellow kind of dries up <laughs> on the tube which makes it look like turmeric i did check the ingredients and it has citric acid so i'm thinking maybe the citric acid is the problem here that is making it look like that but it, as a sunscreen it does work really well it has no white cast it does take a little bit of time to settle like when you apply it you do have that white cast but it kind of like settles into your skin very very oily skin i wouldn't really recommend it if you have normal to dry skin i think this is great because this is a sample sometimes they give it to you in this packaging and this is not the final packaging so the final packaging probably is able to you know resist that oxidization so i would check with the brand before i purchase but otherwise this is a this is a nice sunscreen really a preference thing there are better ones in my opinion within this video itself so stay tuned for that the next one is the aqua dew sunscreen this is also from asaya this does not oxidize like the previous one it has a lot of hydrating ingredients again not necessarily suitable for oily skin if you have very oily skin or even like i don't have extreme extreme oily skin like I get oily the minute I put sunscreen on. It's not like that. I, it takes some time for the oil to build up on my skin. But even then, I would not recommend this for oily skin at all because it does draw a lot of moisture. So if you have very dry skin, very dehydrated skin, and you want something that's going to do it all, like hydrate and give you the protection, then this is really, really nice. It has a very nice watery sort of texture that blends really well no white cast and i just i don't use this as much because it does get very sweaty on me and oily on me so it doesn't really mix well with my makeup because of my skin type now it's kind of winter not winter it's like monsoon time so i am using this on my body right now and i like it i not my personal favorite but it is a good sunscreen again the next one is a brand called friday feeling they really knew they're a small business and they have two sunscreens they have one that's called the friday feeling second nature it is a little bit expensive it's like 1500 for one tube but it works so well i finished the whole tube in while i was in dubai and i threw away the box all throughout last year that was the only sunscreen i was using it's such a nice sunscreen it feels amazing on the skin no white cast you know doesn't irritate the skin doesn't irritate your eyes i had no complaints with it but i really feel like the star of the show from their brand is this one this is the friday feeling golden hour this has tiny bits of glitter in it like it is oh my god i wish i could show you guys i have very little left so i'm just going to show you on camera right now it just it blends into the skin and it has a very slight like glimmery effect i don't even think the camera is picking it up let me be very clear i do not like using it on my face because it has that tiny bits of glitter it just looks very weird and it messes with your makeup so it, the glitter actually peeks through your makeup and i don't like it for my face but for the body oh my god i love using it for my body it is expensive okay like don't get me wrong 1500 for a tube of sunscreen is quite high but it is so so good I am thinking about repurchasing this. It reminds me of 
the Nukes oil. The Nukes oil is much more expensive. I think it's like 4K or something. Um, you can get it at Sephora. That oil does not have any SPF. It's a body oil that just makes your skin glimmer. This does exactly that. I used to get so many compliments when I wore it. And every time I went to my nail tech when I was in Dubai, nail tech should be like, what is that on your like skin? It's like glimmering. It always used to be the sunscreen. So I love this. Now that we're talking about body sunscreens, let's just talk about another one. This is from Aqualogica. I like the detan sunscreen, dewy sunscreen spray. I don't think it detans. It just helps with protecting you with your tan. It does work really well. I love this on its last leg. I took this to all of my trips this year. I also did a paid collab with them. This is just such a nice sunscreen that I think everyone should have, especially if you are someone that struggles with reapplying your sunscreen for your body. It's very lightweight, very easy to use. Spray it. Just make sure that you're spraying it and then rub it into your skin. Like you can't just spray it and let it be because it will sort of like splatter. So it's not like an even spray. And I've noticed this with most sunscreen sprays, like they don't actually like spray evenly like a perfume, for example, because it's a sunscreen uh, in liquid form. So you need to definitely massage it into your skin so make sure you're doing that and let me know in the comments if you guys have any recommendations for body sunscreen i really love applying sunscreen on my body i feel like it has helped my skin so much i'm actually a little bit of a freak when it comes to my skincare i even do it on my body like i have a whole body skincare routine as well let's talk about this one this is the juicy chemistry moisturizing mineral sunscreen i got this in pr and i have been using this but the minute I opened it from the box, it has been like this. I very vividly remember this being like th oh, above 1000 rupees and thinking, I am not paying 1000 rupees for a product that has this type of packaging. Like, can you imagine you spend that much money and then you have like a label come off and, and you don't know what the product is? Like, that is such an ache for me, especially nowadays when brands are, you know, being so meticulous with their product packaging, then this shows up. I know this. This is like a one-off thing i don't think all of their sunscreens are gonna have this issue it has since been like this and i'm trying very hard to not peel it off now when i checked the website it was around 700 rupees even so i don't just i just don't think this is worth it i just don't feel like it layers well with my makeup it it's a moisturizing mineral sunscreen which means it does have a little bit of a white cast that settle that takes some time to settle so let's say you're in a hurry and you apply this on your face you're gonna have that white cast for a while you have to let it really sit into your skin and then apply your makeup and then somehow it just interferes with my makeup and my makeup doesn't look good every time i wear this but I have been using this on the body and I really like it for the body so maybe if they come out with like a bigger tube of this I would absolutely use it all over my body this is my body sunscreen at the moment it does really well it doesn't like make me feel sweaty or anything like that on my body but for some reason on my face it doesn't work the same way I would say like check them out in store they do have a couple of stores in Chennai one sunscreen that is very similar to the juicy chemistry one is the Vilva sunscreen this is the Vilva melt in milk sunscreen you can see how much i've used of this there's barely any left i love this it is so good it dries down matte into almost like a powdery finish it does feel really good with makeup on top of it you just have to let it sit into your skin for like a couple minutes before you actually head out the door otherwise it'll just melt off completely <laughs> But it has no white cast, it doesn't irritate my skin, it doesn't irritate my eyes, it works well with my makeup, I love this and it is an affordable product. That's why I prefer this over the Juicy Chemistry one and I think this is better. This is a Korean brand called Skin1004, they have three sunscreens, let's talk about each one. This is the Madagascar Centella Air Fit Sun Cream Light, SPF 30, PA 4 pluses. This one is just white cast central if you have even the slightest bit of melanin on your face you put this on your skin and it just doesn't settle it takes forever i would say it'll take like an hour for the for the white cast to completely go because it takes that much time for your skin to absorb the sunscreen completely and by then you have to reapply your sunscreen so then you're left with like a full white cast i used this i would say a grand total of four times and every single time I would be like a ghost face. It's really good in the sense that it does feel like it's protecting you from the sun. And I think this particular one is meant to be for like outdoor activities like swimming and if you're into sports and stuff like that. It's really good, but it's just like white cast casket central that I just cannot even 
I cannot even look past it. The next one is the Tone Up sunscreen. It's a tone brightening sunscreen from the same brand. Again, I do not like this because it has a tint that is just not gonna work for my skin tone. I mean, it doesn't work for my skin. It's like too whitish and doesn't work. Even if I remove it, you can see like even if it does sort of absorb, it still has that white cast. It's not brown skin friendly in any way, shape or form. I would skip this. There is one from the range that I think is phenomenal. This is the Centella Hyalu Sika Water Fit Sun Serum. It has this really nice, beautiful texture. I lost the cap on it. You can see how much I've used it. I've been using this for quite some time. I love it through, throughout the day. It has no white cast. It literally settles into your skin immediately. Um, you know, it doesn't make you feel very sweaty. Um, it has a very good texture. I love it. I personally love it. Ever since I got this, I've been wearing this non-stop, so I love it. So out of the three, this one is the best one. Another one that is fabulous, expensive, but still a Korean sunscreen is from Tag, Tej, Taj. Tage, I don't even know how to pronounce this. Yes, it is the calming sun cream in Cypress. It is almost done. I took this to all of my trips this year. It is so freaking good. Like the best sunscreen in this entire video is this one. Calming, it does not irritate the skin. You can apply as much as you want. It will blend into your skin beautifully. Does not cause any breakouts. Does not clog your pores. Has no fragrance. It blends in beautifully. No white cast and it works really well with makeup it is that good i cannot stop using it limes actually sent this to me and i am so grateful to them for sending it because i have discovered my favorite sunscreen of all time the next one i want to talk about is from a kind this is the no shade sunscreen primer this says that it's a primer and sunscreen very similar to the asaya one that i just showed you both do the same thing the only difference is this one has spf 50 and though i like it on its own i tend to want to use another sunscreen with it just because it feels too much like a primer it fills all your pores it makes it look matte it stays for a long time it has no white cast it works well with makeup it has really good ingredients i really like this i also think this is great for travel i also want to touch on a couple of other sunscreens that i don't have with me on hand at the moment one is from Faye. the Faye spf juice is amazing i personally would use it during the winter time or monsoon time when it's much more drier in the weather because it is a juicy sort of product that just like literally sinks into your skin no white cast works beautifully with makeup you can also use it on your body they have a bigger size that is beautiful i have recommended it to so many people i have gifted it to so many people they all love it so the way spf juice is amazing the neutrogena uh, spf which everybody has had at least once in their lifetime that is like the true no no nonsense sunscreen it is not brown skin friendly or anything and it definitely will irritate your eyes and it doesn't work well with makeup so that is one thing that you have to keep in mind about the Neutrogena one I just know a lot of people will ask about it because it's an affordable option that you can get at like Health and Glow or any other pharmacy I am a sunscreen freak I always wear sunscreen even at home uh, I think it's the only thing that saves my skin from breaking out even more so my light is literally dying on one side but it's fine I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and you enjoyed like me yapping about all of these different sunscreens any other recommendations anything else that you want to chat about please do talk me in the comments i am always hanging out in the comments after i post the video don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell and also check out my ig for everyday updates and uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye